Hi, I'm Corey Mullins. I'm the head carpenter at Neptune Theatre. Welcome to the build of uh, Sweeney Todd. Today we're going to be working on what's called a periactos, which is Greek. It's an old theatre word. It just means to turn. Uh, we have this unit here, uh, which we've started off with some designer drawings. Maybe we can get you to take a look at this. This is what we'll get from our designer, and uh, then it'll be taken to our technical director who will break it all down. He'll give us a drawing like this, and it's our job to make it a real thing, an actual physical object. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking apart what we have together right now and uh, looking at putting it in place. This object isn't looking the way it's going to look on stage yet. You can see that some of our walls have uh, uh, their final paint treatment, and some of the walls are open framing. That's because when we move this all down to the theater, we've got to have the access panels to be able to screw it together again. So we know what it's going to look like. We fitted it all together, but uh, it's not quite finished. It's also one of the reasons why the head painter needs some time on deck to do a little bit of touch-up work. Jamie, can I, Jason, can I get you to tell me we're going to take this part for a second? When we're theater building, we have to strike a happy medium between making it strong and making it light. So some of these objects are going to be much heavier than they need to be in real life. And some of these objects uh, need to be much lighter. Let's just lean it against that pillar. This is what our revolve is going to look like underneath. We have to have a nice, strong steel pivot, which we reuse for all of our revolves. Um, we have a couple of different types, but that was engineered for the theater probably about 25 years ago. Um, and then a series of casters, which are going to be holding up all of our weight, but all have to be perpendicular to uh, the turning point to our axis. This uh, beautiful work was done by our assistant uh, carpenter, uh, Taylor Enders. Okay. Uh, let me get. Because it's really. 
really fun to drive that thing around. Next step is to get our center point for our pivot. Yeah, it should be fine if you want to walk away from it. This setup space is almost as big as our theater space, almost as big as the main stage. You can see we have a few problems fitting things up here because we deal with a fly tower, uh, uh, counterweighted uh, scenery. We need as much stage above the stage as uh, there is uh, visible so that things can be drawn up from the stage and uh, hidden away in a sort of attic space. We only have about 17 feet here. Our main stage is uh, about 22 feet to the top of the arch, of the proscenium, uh, which means we can't quite fit up here what we can fit up on deck.
Uh, in about two minutes, yes? Yeah. Wait on our helpers before attempting to move this thing. Softly turn it on the
This is why you test fit things. You don't want to build something on deck the day of to find out that it won't turn like that. Thank you. <laughs> 